Hey guys, Kat Kabira here. Greetings from Stockholm. So boundaries, it's the hot topic. I doesn't matter if I'm working with families, people with eating disorders, highly sensitive empaths, yoga teachers, therapists, coaches, healers. Um, it's literally the thing that always comes up. And we tend to think of boundaries more in terms of in relationship with the other. And we also can think of boundaries almost as like a, a, a no or like a negative. But I really want you to start to consider boundaries in terms of management, expression, expansion of love. You know, what is the space that you need to thrive? And internal boundaries, you know, the relationship with yourself, it's essential. You know, whatever is happening internally gets, expresses, gets expressed externally. And one thing with my eating disorder friends in particular, whether it's more constant dieting or binge eating or anorexia, you know, the one thing that comes in common is like constant rules, constant no, constant restriction. And in the path of healing, you know, you want to psychologically tell yourself like, I can have anything, you know, and it's, it's not just food. It's like in life, how are you limiting yourself? How do you, are you constantly placing yourself into a space of contraction or are you setting yourself up for your full expansion, the full expression of who you are? And it was challenging, and I'm going to speak from personal experience, you know, having had eating disorders, is that, yes, it's so important to feel like, okay, I can, I can do and have whatever I want. And yet, what do I do if there are inherent limits? Like, what if there's harm if I have certain things? Um, so there's actually research around uh, people with eating disorders where your gut microbiome is just messed up and it takes a while to repair it. Gut microbiome, um, it's genetic. Um, it's impacted by how you were birthed. It's impacted by um, how your emotions, um, it's impacted by obviously diet, you know, and so, um, parasites, bacteria, everything. It's like, it's, it's the env inner environment. And so, you know, I know in, in healing my own gut microbiome, I did have to change how I ate. And what's challenging about this is, well, so what if you have, um, you, you want to be able to have no restrictions. And yet at the same time, your body actually requires certain limits, you know, not having certain things and having certain things and how to not feel like you're suddenly restricting or back on a diet. And that's where I like to consider when we think about boundaries is in internal boundaries, you want to have a really healthy inner parent. So you don't want to have that kind of mom or dad who's kind of like, you know, you're in the candy store and they're like, oh, honey, just take whatever you want. Like, you know, the, the sky's the limit. Um, because obviously, if you're eating all that candy, you're going to get a stomach ache. But you also wouldn't want to have a parent that was like, no, you know, candy's bad. You're just not allowed to have any, you know, where, you know, you get like messed up in your head and it's like, you know, like either, you know, you're going to want that candy because you're not allowed to have it, but also where it's so strict, you know, so you don't want to be militant. So we want to have that healthy inner parent around, you know, yes, you can have it, but let's, let's start to know the repercussions if you have something or understanding moderation. You know, that's like the, the healing key to everything is moderation. Um, you know, what is it like to just have a little bit? So, you know, that, that there are a lot of nuances in boundaries. And, um, especially if you're someone who tends to be all or nothing, it's going to be really hard for you to understand the, the nuances of boundaries and what do you actually need to support yourself? Um, and again, you know, I just want to go back to, you know, eating disorders. It's like, there will be times where your body, you might have some health stuff where it's like your body will actually get inflamed or be in pain if you eat a certain way. Um, and yet you don't want to go back into the false safety of like a heavy restrictive diet. So, you know, we're really learning how to have a healthy relationship with ourselves, which means an inner listening, a super kindness and having, you know, how to wire in that, that healthy inner parenting. Anyway, that's my love note to you. I hope you're having such a beautiful day. Bye.